Hello. Oh. Yeah, I guess that's true. My headset died, so uh, you guys can't hear what I'm hearing anymore. Hang on. There we go. Now you can hear it. How's that volume? Yeah, I'm getting rid of this headset. This headset is promptly going back to its original owners. I cannot deal with this anymore. <laughs> like, I am physically unable to deal with this now. <laughs> Volume looks like it should be pretty good based on the sliders, but you guys let me know uh, which feeling. <laughs> How's everybody else's? It is Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> How you guys doing? Yeah, so two things this headset likes to do. Uh, it doesn't like to connect to the Bluetooth receiver, which I don't know if that's the receiver's fault or if that's the headset's fault. Um, sometimes it's just like, nah. I don't feel like doing it today. Um, the second thing it likes to do is now, all of a sudden, for no reason, I have done nothing to this computer, I have not updated anything, I have not reinstalled anything, I have done exactly zero things to this computer. I hit the stream button, and when I was done, I hit the stop stream button, and then I just turned the monitor off, I went to bed. Now, I have not touched this computer, but for some reason in the last week, I cannot use desktop audio on default anymore. I have to set it for the Bluetooth headset. It will not just use the default device and I don't know why. So, that's my problems. So, um, I'm gonna get rid of these headphones. So, I don't I don't know if they're, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to afford another headset um, before they give me the refund on this. And I'm sure they won't give me the refund on these until I send it back to them and it gets to them. So, we may have another week where I don't have a headset and you guys might get feedback to the microphones. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but right now we got the headset, so we don't have anything to worry about. Uh, is indeed Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna kick Claire in the shins because uh, she has a gym badge and we need it. So I'm gonna kick her in the shins so she gives it to us. Uh, let me run through our parte real quick because everybody is now approximately level 36. Um, I know she has Pokemon that are higher level than that, but I think we can handle it. And also training in the grass out here is a pain in the butt. Um, so that's fun. Uh, the Pokemon out here are like in their 20s and so it takes like 18 years to level anything so we're just gonna do the thing and hope for the best because i to be quite fucking honest i don't want to train these pokemon uh yeah so we got um nothing really changed but we'll run through them real quick we got wiggles who's very serious i just realized he's serious and likes to scatter things which doesn't seem like something a serious person would do but okay uh cannot be infatuated magnitude whirlpool surf and water pulse all the same dealios uh, Spearmint has Keen Eye, all the same junk as last time. Everybody's, I think, pretty much the same. Snow Cloak, Ice Fang, Strength, Hail, Mud Bomb, Dark Pulse, Iron Tail, Rock Slide, Scary Face, Revenge, Brick Break, Meditate, and Rock Smash, X is a Yep, everybody's the same. So there you go. That's the team. That's what we're rocking with. So let's, um, at least poke the first, uh, let's at least poke the first trainer and just see what, how, how we're doing. If we seem like we're gonna start struggle busting, then we will, uh, obviously back out <laughs> i get your windshield replaced today and i am immediately regretting not getting those teeth the cracks fixed two years because overnight they turned into giant cracks oh my god that's the this looks like a secret item really not a secret item what the fuck is supposed to be down here why are all, why are there all these little like crevices nothing in them okay uh, i went in the post Brain, what are you doing today? Claire, fight me. Oh, hi, what's up? Yo, champ in the making! This gym has unstable footing. Keep your Pokemon in their Pokeballs. Now, Claire uses the mystical and sacred dragon-type Pokemon. You can't damage them very easily. But you know, they're supposed to be weak against ice-type moves. Um... About that. <laughs> this should be randomized. Oh, alright. Okay. Huh? Oh, uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh? Okay. Alright. I don't know what's happening. Well, hopefully we'll get close to 45 before the Elite Four, because, uh... I'm 
be rough. Oh, perfect lead. Our boy Wiggles is out here. Eat that bite up. Oh, he flinched though. Are you really gonna try to flinch me out? Is that what's happening? That's fine. Magnitude, I will deal with a magnitude six. We can handle that. How's the volume, by the way? Um, my headset's all sorts of derp, so. Uh, hopefully that is an okay volume for you guys. And it's not overpowering me at all. But I know it has a tendency to do that. Barbecuing honey garlic chicken and ran out of propane. Oh, no! Now what do you do? Cloister. Ice. I'm gonna kick it. Audio will be fine? Sweet. Could never trust this headset, apparently. Trick break. Karate chop this shell. Break him. Oh, almost goodbye. Whoosh! Guy's setting up the spikes. Getting competitive up in here. Playing the long game. Lost Pokemon Star Me. Um. Donnie should be good. Donnie won't take too much spikes since it's only one layer of spikes. That trainer was smart. They forced the switch by sending out their psychic type. Very not close to the. Alright. And of course, Donnie's got all the experience. Donnie's ready to go. I wonder what Pokemon she's gonna have. That's Croak. Oh, we could totally handle a Toxor. Okay, so things I didn't realize until I was trying to draw Pokemon Frog Hands. I did not realize that that red spike on the back of Tox that the red spike on Toxicroak's hands, that's actually one of its fingers. It's not a spike coming out of the back of its hand, it's like its middle finger. Which is weird. Because I definitely thought it was like a spike on the back of the hand, but it's not. That's a nice magnitude nine. There you go, Wiggles. It is time to stop. I also don't like it's weird, but you know. Hey, Prime ape. Place it. Fear mint. What is this? Arenas? From the other game? <laughs> Got our, uh, I got our butts kicked in Sinnoh, and so our rival came over here and became a trainer for Claire's gym. I think the way the spike is drawn in this sprite particularly makes it look funny. Bag, there we go. Get that health back, buddy. All right. Yeah, I like Kroger and Dr. Kroger and eat. I think I'm like sort of understanding how this works. But not really. Let me show you my Pokemans. Trainer Bob. Another trainer. Was, was that another Trainer Bob? Oh, Wiggles. Wiggles, baby, you got this. Surf him. Look at that derpy fucking Pokemon.
Uh, Rhyperior barely looks like the Rhydon line, honestly. Like, it's a cool-looking Pokemon, I just don't like it in relation to the other, like, Rhydon family. Polo? A little Polo water. Oh, still use Flying type. That should be good against the grass, at least. Look at him. Thumb hat. Right here, you're cool, but I like right on better. Yeah. Yeah, and that sprite particularly looks really goofy. Look at all those cries. Kind of funny. This is going pretty well so far. I'm actually a little nervous. <laughs> Next trainer. Who wants a piece of this? Trainer Jonathan has a mega cargo. Look at all these Pokemon. The Wiggles can just absolutely wreck. Look at him. Wiggles is out here doing the most. Look at our little baby. We've had him since the very beginning. Alright, what else you got? Watch him send out, like, Rosa Rosarade or something. Oh, not alone. Not alone the Marowak, though. <laughs> Best start of 2018, right? Could have had a free Rayquaza, but we went, with the we went with the better starter. Let's be real. The only one we weren't fighting over was Pidgeot. <laughs> The only one that we really didn't care about was Pidgeotto. <laughs> Wiggles had the humor factor and Rayquaza had the holy fuck it's a Rayquaza factor. I can heal. Hello. What's up, Crow? Okay, so this is Claire. Yes, you got here just in time. Except you now have to watch me do the stupid floor puzzle. Which is... Exciting in and of itself, I would say. That way. That way. That way. That way. That way. All right. Now, on the one hand, I could run back and heal. On the other hand, I have to do this spike puzzle again. Let's go back outside. <laughs> Never mind. I don't mind risking the biscuit a little bit by not going in with level 40s, but at the same time... Ethan... I'm not even going to answer the phone. Ethan, I'm not here. I'm busy. Something. I just had two thoughts that ran right into each other, so I'm just going to tell you them both. My first thought was, oh hey, last time, didn't like one of the professors call us to tell us something? Do we have to go back to, to our t hometown, to whatever it's called, um, and talk to them maybe? And then my second thought was, oh no, it was Professor Oak calling me to tell me that I was doing a good, like, that I was catching a lot of Pokemon and then he hung up. <laughs> so... So we don't have anything important to do with the, uh... We don't have anything important to do with the, with the, uh... Professors. I just got confused. Right. A Dratini in a punk outfit? Yeah, Dratini's like spikes. Something. I went too far, maybe. Such like a needlessly complicated puzzle. What the hell? <laughs> Player is like not fucking around. All right, we're just gonna lead. We're just gonna lead with uh, Wiggles. I don't have a voice for her. Um. I don't have a voice for her.
I am. What? No. I don't know. Ah, schnobble do. Yeah, that's true. I'm Claire, the world's best dragon type master. I can hold my own against even the Pokemon League's Elite Four. Do you still want to take me on? Fine, let's do this. As a gym leader, I will fulfill my. I will use my full power against any opponent. I can't fucking read, apparently. Oh, sorry, Webster. This is, um, Juggler Webster. Oh! That's where we're going with this. That, we're, <laughs> we are starting out strong. <laughs> oh, just Rigigigas. All right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> This is fine. This is... No. We're good. Don't worry about it. Fox confused. Oh. Rest in peace. Nope. Never mind. Yeah. Smack him. Smack him. Get him. Eat that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ow. Okay, first of all, ow. All right. Another Brick Break should kill, right? <laughs> out of understanding. <laughs> Cannot let this thing get out of slow start. It had the turn I switched out Wiggles. This turn. So it still has two more, three more rounds? If Oh, if Confusion doesn't get me. You right. You right. right I'm going to heal Plock real quick. So this should be his third this should be his third turn of slow start. It's five, right? Lock, don't do it. Lock, don't do it! Fucking idiot. Went for the foresight. <laughs> oh boy. Um A full heal. That'd be great. I don't suppose. Nope. Uh. I have a max revive. So there's that. Uh, I have a feeling Mammoth Swine is a very bad idea. Um, because Ham is an ice type. And Regigigas just used Revenge, which I'm pretty sure is a fighting type. So, that seems like a very bad idea. Um, I'm thinking maybe Spearmint, though. He is resistant to a fighting type attack, and he is also fast. Because we know for sure the Regigigas has... Um, we know for sure that this has a, a fighting type attack. Um... Eight versus fifty-four. So you should live an attack. All right, I'm gonna switch in Spearman. I can't. I could heal Plock, but then we'll just end up in a circle. We'll just keep healing. I'm just gonna do this. All right, you should be able to eat that. Yeah, you did. You got your act together though, which is kind of a problem. Um, actually, fly is better, I think. I want to hit him with the hardest hitting thing we have. 60 or 90. Although it has a chance to... I'm going to go for fly. Just because it's stronger. And I would really like to hit him. Wow, I'm still faster even after he got out of slow start. Alright. Hopefully this takes him out. I mean, it's not super effective, but... Nope. Oh, that didn't fucking do anything. <sighs> Alright. Uh, we might be in a little bit of trouble. I'm gonna heal block. Spearmint should still be able to take a hit, and he's just gonna... Oh, oh you have knockoff. That's fun. No, you made him drop his Draco plate! How could you? Loves that Draco plate. His Draco plate. Can't take that away from him. Ow. 
Um... What is their speed in comparison to one another? We got 73 and 83. Do you think that Plock will outspeed? Because Plock is not confused, so if I outspeed, I will definitely kill him. I'm 10 points slower with Plock, though. But I definitely outsped with Firo. Plock outsped before because he was slow started. Now he's not slow started. He got his act together. So now he should be faster. Well, he's faster than he was. I don't know if he's faster in general, though. Like, I don't know if he's faster than my Pokemon, but he definitely got his act together. Um, I still think Regigigas is a pretty slow Pokemon, even without slow start. So... That's a big miss. That's gonna be a big risk. Hang on. Um... I have a heal. I'm just gonna go for a crit. I'm just baiting the crit. Uh, no, Spearman definitely cannot kill in one hit. I'm not even sure Spearman could kill in several hits. I at level 50, it has 94, so I might be faster. Just the other four stats. Oh, I thought Slow Start did affect the other the other stats. I'm gonna hit it. All right, there we go. I thought Slow Start did affect his speed. Alright, we got the Regigigas out of the way. I don't really actually 100% know how Slow Start works, to be honest. I just knew it made him suck until turn 5. Alright. You guys did good. Good. Alright, you, yeah, you deserve a break. Yeah, it's a literal gamble. Alright, you got your nice Mrs. Mime over there. Sandstream, which may or may not have been a good thing. Oh, you're gonna substitute. Oh. That's good. And it's gone. Wow. Amazing. Great. Hot fucking damn. Oh my god, are we really gonna do this? Is it is this the game we're playing? Is this actually what we're doing? I'm um, I'm down. You're just taking damage for yourself. It probably can't do anything else, to be honest. Like, it probably can't hit me. <laughs> it's probably like, oh shoot, that's a dark type. I can't do anything about it. Oh my fucking god. You're just putting off the inevitable. I could have killed you already. Now you can't substitute, so... And she used a hyper potion. <laughs> Alright. This is great. <laughs> I'm liking this a lot. Let me just uh, substitute and- Oh, there she goes! <laughs> I love this little- I love the substitute. It's like the- it's like the doll version of me. I actually kind of hope she burns her other hyper potion trying to heal this thing. Oh, trick. I don't know what trick does, but you're dead now, so. It's showing you its doll collection. You keep breaking the- <laughs> Oh, no! Yep, that's a Mime Junior. Or that's a Mime- that's a Mrs. Mime. Coco's face is perfect for this fight. Yeah, right. And my Lodic. Good. Tankiest tank that ever tanked. <laughs> You're fine, Aranis. I'm not super worried about caps. Like, obviously, keep that to a minimum, but I don't fucking care, honestly. It's not hurting anybody. <laughs> Look at this tank. Look at it go. <laughs> Gonna use the rain dance, which is fine. Uh, fun fact, my Lodic gets, uh, Ice Beam by TM, but it does not get it by level up as far as I remember, so, zero fear. This for a Wi-Fi battle, definitely fear, but not, not now. What happened to your headset, um, mo other than the fact that it's a fuck? Um, nothing. Fine. My headset's just the worst. <laughs> I don't know if it's the headset or if it's the Bluetooth dongle, but it just does not want to interact with it. Her, her ace is a jump. Oh, that's right. Ham. I forgot about ham. I forgot ham was four times effective because all I thought in my head was grass. Well, dongle. Yeah, <laughs> I said the word dongle and it was funny. Did I switch for the hell of it? 
Oh, you got U-turn. Yeah, who are you gonna U-turn out to? No one, because everyone else is dead. Um, yeah, so I don't know if it's that. I don't know if it's the receiver or if it's the headset, but just sometimes it's like, oh, I refuse. It just does not want to exist. So it doesn't. Um, and I had to restart my computer like twice to get it to sync. So I have my headset now, but this headset is promptly going back to the seller on eBay uh, because they have a return policy of 30 days. So <laughs> this headset's going back and I'm just going to buy the Turtle Beach ones I had the last time because I actually really like that headset. Let Spear have his moment. Spear Mint. Yeah. Turtler Webster. I like how she like does not care. I won't concede this. I might have lost, but you're still not ready for the Pokemon League. I know, you should take the Dragon Master Challenge. Behind this gym is a place called the Dragon's Den. There's a small shrine at its heart. Go there. If you can prove that you've lost your lazy ideals, I will admit you are a trainer worthy of a gym badge. Fucking lazy, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, you right. You right, we can get another encounter. I use skull candy headphones, never had a problem with them. So my deal is, is that um, one time I bought a uh, Logitech wireless headset and it was the greatest thing I have ever purchased. And the fact that you don't have a wire in the way to restrict you is like the most precious thing. That was like the best 50 bucks I ever spent. And I have never wanted to go back to a wired headset ever again. So, although Skull Candy is good, I do not ever want to have wired headphones ever again. <laughs> I will never be able to go back to having a wire in my lap. Um, the problem is, is this is the first Bluetooth headset I've ever had, and it kind of sucks. So, no more Bluetooth, is what I'm saying. Oh, are we going to get to see the baby again? The baby! Look at the precious child! Please. Hello, my son. Be free. Oh, you get a gift Pokemon? Well, hold the fuck up. Should we, uh... Should we leave a Pokemon behind for... Look at the wheels his mouth. We can always come back and get it. I don't want to be down a Pokemon for fighting somebody. The wireless probably do the tin roof interfering with the signal. Yeah, that could that could do it. Oh, the music in here is so cool. It's expensive. Ham, you need to. Explain. Oh, the music was just getting good too. Hello, random trainer. Trainer Mallory has a Bastiodon. Neat. Gotta beat this lock? I might. I might. Bastiodon is a steel type. So leaving it against this is a bad idea. <laughs> We've gone a pretty long time without a fatality, which is nice, but also terrifying. Four times we to ground. Oh, you're right! I always forget steel is weak to ground because it doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> so I'm, I'm working on it and fighting. Two four times weaknesses is rough. Oh, we found a hyper potion. There you go. That's nice. And a rare candy. I'm gonna hang on to that for when we're, uh, if we train up a, a team for Kanto. Deals with the ground because of rust. Wouldn't that have more to do with water than ground? Oh, okay, here's our encounter for the dragon's den. Our encounter is a cherub ruby. Okay. Quick ball, go! Yeah, fucking Cherubi. The best Pokemon. Adorable, useless. That is a foot tall. 
This Pokemon is one foot tall. It evolves by sucking the energy out of small of, out of the small ball where it had been storing nutrients. Wait, that's that's nutrients? That little head there? Oh, that's weird. Alright. That's uh it's like it's absorbing its twin. I don't like it. Name it. Oh, I also reset the um I reset the naming the other night. Um I reset the naming the other night so people can rename stuff. Like Kuro! Congratulations, Kuro! You get to name a thing. Even though Kuro would probably rather name literally anything else. <laughs> Lushy, Kuro, are you here? Would you like to name the useless cherry? One of these days, I'm going to roll your name on a sheeb. And it will be good. Kuro Jr. I might... I don't know if Kuro's still here. Or if Kuro is lurking. Alright, well, we know where the name writer is, so I'm just gonna go with Kur Kuro Jr. for right now. And then, um. I'll name it later. Come back to it. Alright. Let's battle this trainer. Well, that was underwhelming. Trainer Tia has a Huntail. We'll come back to it. We know where the name raider is now, so we can get to him pretty easily. Go away, Huntail. A Charizard. Definitely cannot say it against you. <laughs> that is 100% not a good idea. Right. Charizard. I love this sprite of Charizard, by the way. So good. Oh, you actually know what you know what would have been better would have been um Coco Jr. Coco Jr. would have been good because he's four times weak to rock. But uh, my brain didn't think of that. So instead, Wiggles is going to surf him to death. Nope, never mind. I'm gonna come very close to surfing him to death. It's so weird that Charizard gets dragon rage, but he doesn't he's not actually a dragon type. Not that it matters, because it stab doesn't affect it, it's just strange to me. Hero Coco Jr. And Bennett. Uh Coco. It's a Coco. This thing's pure ghost, right? For sure. Can't go Mega, that's all I know. We're not in that generation yet. Goodbye, Bennett. Bennett's a cool Pokemon. I like Bennett. Never used one. I just think it's cool. Alright, let's heal up our boy Wiggles. Uh, I went to this Pokemon, uh... I went to this thing with my brother uh, for my birthday one year. It was a uh, the Pokemon Symphotic Evolution. It was like a um, um, right. It was a um, like an orchestra performance of different Pokemon songs from different generations, uh, and it was really cool. It was like all officially like sponsored Pokemon thing, but um, they did the segment they did for Gen Two. Um, they played the song for In the Dragon's Den, and then immediately afterward led right into, um... Uh, 
Um, yeah, they uh, they played the, the Dragon's Den song and then kind of faded it out at the end and then went right into um, went right into Red's theme and it was like the most epic thing I've ever heard. There's a um, I'll have to put it in the music share because somebody had a recording of it and it's kind of shitty because it's like somebody recorded it with their phone. It's not like the official recording of it. I don't think they had an official recording, but still, it's like so cool sounding. <laughs> Like, you didn't realize that you needed Dragon's Den and Red's theme at the same time until you listen to that song. Because <laughs> it is probably the single most epic thing I've ever heard. Cool couple, Max and Joe. Very small. Hello, can I have this item, please? A podium. I can handle a podium. Alright. What else could we have gotten in this cave that would have been cool? A novel. A fire type would have been really good. Which one's Symphony of the Gods? We didn't need any fire types. That's not a type. We've seen far too many fire types this, this round. We definitely haven't seen them. Oh, Symphony of the Goddess. Yeah, that one I have not been to. Uh, which I have heard is very good, but I have not been to it. Cherubin Numble, Cherubin Numble, I guess. Or Cherubin Numble. A Metal Gear. Oh, is there a Metal Gear one? That sounds awesome. Already lost. Thought I could go to the other side to fight the other trainers, but I think I had to go down through the whirlpool and loop around. I think is what I had to do. Yeah, I didn't even know there was a Metal Gear one. It sounds incredible. Yeah, looks like the looks like the two the two, in, two of the encounters down here are Nummel and and Cherim. Ruby. I don't know how many encounters are normally down here. Someday we'll get out of this water. I don't know if there's like a rare encounter for us to run into, but. Cross over to the other side real quick and just uh, check for any cool items. We really haven't gotten that many held items this time around. Supper is ready, so I gotta go eat so I can get to work. See you later, Lauren. Have a good one. Ruby. That Ruby is a little empty. Ruby, I think you need that. Oh my god. Come on, let's go. I wanted this item up here. That's all I wanted. It's gonna be a fucking lava berry. Alright, cool. Glad I'm glad we fought. The wild encounters to get a leper berry. Have any elves? <laughs> any kind? I have a big pearl. I have a soul. I have a heart scale. I don't know who you give that to in this game. Like I don't know where the tray. I don't know where the move relearner is to give that to him. But I got a heart scale, so. You know, it makes the music obnoxious, but I'm gonna try to. I want to listen to the cool ass music, but no, we gotta listen to the dumb surf theme. Alright. Gym battle number two. 
Girl, good to see you here. I'll need to explain why you came. Claire sent you, didn't she? That girl is a handful. I'm sorry, but I must test you. Not to worry. You are to only to answer a few questions. Ready? What Pokemon? What are Pokemon to you? They're my friends. Yeah. And what helps you to win battles? Cheating. Training. And what kind of trainer do you wish to be? Any. And what's most important for raising Pokemon? Love. Oh. Very commendable. That conviction is what is important, Axie. Don't lose that belief. I will see you through to the Poke- It will see you through to the Pokemon League. Oh, is the move tutor in Blackthorn? Cool. Not that we need it for anybody, just cool. Now I know. So, how did it go? I guess there's no point in asking. You failed. What? Passed? That can't be! You're lying. Even I haven't been approved. Claire, this child is impeccable in skill and spirit. Admit defeat and confer the rising badge. Must I inform Lance of this? I understand. Here, this is the rising badge. Hurry up and take it. I can't think of any of my Pokemon that I need it for right now, but... Oh, that's true. The rising badge will enable your Pokemon to use the move for climbing waterfalls. Also, the Pokemon will know you as... All Pokemon will know you as a trainer and obey your command without, without question. I lost her voice for a second there because I can't fucking read. Claire. Reflect on what this... On what it is that you lack and this child has. I always found this interaction really weird because Claire looks so much older than her than, than they treat her, you know? Like, I always, whenever I saw Claire in the games, I always thought she was, like, an adult. But they treat her like she's a spoiled, like, teenager. And it's weird, because she doesn't look like it. I just always thought that was odd. I, I don't know what that is. Hmm. Have you heard of Lugia? Uh, between Olivine and Cyanwater, are islands called the Whirl Island. There's a huge waterfall deep in the cave there. It is said Lugia rests in the deep end of the waterfall basin. You need a silver wing to reach the waterfall basin, I've heard. You're not gonna do anything else about that? I'd assume she was a child handed the- She was just a child handed the gym and her ego got to her- Oh, maybe. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I guess I got that she was an older teenager, but like, I always pictured her as being in like her 30s or something, like that she was like an adult. Of course, I do that with every Pokemon, everything in Pokemon. I always assume everybody's older than they actually are. Uh, where do I get the free Pokemon? I thought he gave it to me. Who gifts me a Pokemon down here? Does he give it to me if I come back with an empty party? What? I also still don't know how to get Lugia. Wait, I'm sorry about this. Take this as my apology. Contains Dragon Pulse. Well, Dragon Pulse is kind of... Never mind. It's a huge energy of some kind. If you don't want it, you don't have to take it. What's the matter? If you're headed to the Pokemon League, go back to New Bar Town and surf along Route 27. Your face is telling me you have some unfinished business. Come on! Whatever you have to face now, don't you dare give up. If you do, I'll feel even worse about having lost to you. Give it your all. Go to learn Zen Headbutt. I mean, I only have one. So we'd have to decide which... Um, thing is most important for her to have to give me. That's wrong. What do you want? Oh, I didn't put give myself the bed. Got the badge out of order, so I forgot about it. Eh, rising bed. Oh, Axie, how's it going? I've got a lot. I've got a hold of something neat. Swing by my lab and pick it up. He's gotten a hold of something neat, and we should swing by his lab. Yeah, Psychic Move would definitely be good to have. I only have one Heart Scale, though, so we'll have to decide who we want to get stuff to, give stuff to. Um, going to New Bark Town. Unless I can go back in and get the thing, in which case... Actually, that doesn't help me anyway, because there's no Pokemon Center here. Okay, hang on. Um, let's go back to, back to Black one. Um, let's go to the po- I'm gonna go in the, uh, mart and buy a couple super repels and empty one slot in my party and go in and see if the old man gives me something. Um. And then we'll go to New Bark Town and see what Professor Elm has for us. I got a little ADHD there and just forgot, like, what we were doing. 
Uh, give me a super repel. Give me like three of those. And also give me a couple full heals, because why don't I have any of those? Yes, we should start to move. How many escape ropes do I have? Two. Beautiful. Alright. Let's check the move tutor while I still have um, Pokemon in my party. Call me Grandma Wilma. I sense a slight talent in I sense a slight talent as a dragon tamer. Would you like me to teach a move to one of your Pokemon? Sure. Like your sense of adventure. adventure. However, none of your Pokemon can learn Okay. Quest of for power has brought you here very well. Let me reward your passion with some absolutely astounding moves. They're ultimate moves. Frenzy. Oh, he teaches. Okay, he teaches the three elemental ones. Uh, move maniac. I know every move that Pokemon can learn while they level up, and I can make them remember those moves. Okay. Let me look. What can Ham learn? Not that I'm gonna do it, but what can he learn? Ancient power, Peck, Odor Sleuth, Mud Sport, Powder Snow, Mud Slap, Endure, Take Down, Double Hit. All right. The only one of those I'm like even vaguely interested in is Ancient Power, and honestly, I don't really want. Elemental hyper beams. That is really what they are, aren't they? Pluck, peck, growl, leer, mirror move, agility. It's all. Right. Wiggles is the one we wanted to look at. Sure. If there's that headbutt. Tickle. Alright, so yeah, uh, that might be pretty good. And make you flinch also. We don't have a psychic type move on our squad, so that could be that could be good. Do a Coco Jr. Yes. Oh. Oh, okay. See. So uh Tyranitar can learn the fangs, which I didn't know, which is also cool. I almost kind of feel like that might be the way to go. Maybe teach him Fire Fang. Your block won't get anything exciting. Double control. Oh, he doesn't evolve, so... Cool. We don't really have any good Fire-type attacks, so that might not be a bad thing. Which would be good for Steel-types, I think. Night Slash. The Night Slash should be really cool, but um, we already have a Pokemon who's... Got a really good stab dark type. Yeah. I think I'm gonna teach him Fire Fang. Or Fire Fang. Uh, let's get rid of Scary Face. We definitely haven't. I know it would be that, but we haven't used it. I'm gonna do that. Um. up and let's check our other attacks too want to teach Coco Thunderbolt what does Thunderbolt help us with Thunderbolt helps us with flying which Coco can handle with a rock type attack which is stab so that's better uh, it would help us with water types which Donnie can handle I, mean, I guess I could make the same argument for fire. What does fire help us with? The little clock and dick type. It does help if I run into a Gyarados. What should we get rid of in that case in exchange for it? Because... Wish somebody else other than Kogo could learn Thunderbolt. Oh, it's also. I'm gonna hang on to Thunderbolt for a little bit longer. 
I really want to teach Shadow Ball to something, but nobody can learn Shadow Ball, so. Okay. Let's go dump a Pokemon in the box real quick. It would be a waste of Coco's moves to use Bolt. I like having Iron Tail on him. I don't know why. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, box two is... Okay. Got... What do you got? Adamant, which is great. Tackle Growth, Leech Seed, and Helping Hand. Amazing. Good move set. Precious move set. Alright. Um, you can just come down here. I don't, it's not even that I feel like it would be a waste. It's just, I, I'm not feeling it, you know? It is a special, it is a special move that I'm putting on a physical Tyranitar, so... Oh, that's right, the best Pokemon does have a flame plate. Actually, I should check and see if any of those Pokemon have, uh... The Coco already has a rock incense. I gave Coco the rock incense to power up uh, Rock Slide. But I should still take that off the best Pokemon. <laughs> Anybody else have? Happy Face doesn't have anything for me. Is the flame plate better than the rocks it rock incense, do you think? What's up, Ando? I suppose it would make that non-stab attack hit a little harder. I don't know. All that stuff is all like. That's all, like, really deep, like, stat stuff, and I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> it does more damage because it is better. Guys, we have all the gym badges from Johto. We made it a lot further in this game than we did in the other game. How many badges in were we? Like, four? <laughs> I don't even remember how many badges we got in Platinum just because we did the badges out of order. All I know is we're doing a lot better this time around. Hello. Hmm, good to see you here. Your arrival is most fortunate. I have something for you. Take this Tratini as proof that I know your work. Yay! We got a definitely not Tratini. Yes, I would like to name this definitely a Tratini. A Rapidash? That's interesting, and also a fire type, which we don't have a lot of. Who gets to name this Rapidash? Ando gets to name this Rapidash. Ando, would you like to name the Rapidash since you were just here? <laughs> Not as epic as a Palkia, but still pretty good. Rapidash is a solid fire type. Fast, too. You don't spend nearly as much time in this cave when you have a repel on. I should just buy some repels. Are we at 350 followers? Is that what that said? 356. Hold on. We cruising? Female Rapidash. I feel like I need... What did I name my Rapidash I had in Platinum? I played that way back when. Schmephany? Schmephany it is. Uh, Kuro, you're alright. You take your time. Um, you did get picked to name the Cherim we encountered in this room, so if you have a nickname for a Cherim that is not Kuro Jr., uh, let me know, and I'll name it whatever you want. And I'm sorry it wasn't a sheep. <laughs> Hope you're okay. Take care of yourself. You just chill out. That's what this chat's for. It's for chilling out. 
because I don't feel like being in this cave and I don't feel like surfing out. Get, get out. I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center real quick, and, or I'm gonna go to the market real quick and sell my junk. Because I just realized I have like a big pearl and a couple of revives that we don't need, so... Hey, you get to name the disappointing cherry Pokemon. Which is really the opposite of you, which is that I would like for you to name the awesome sheep Pokemon, but we haven't seen an awesome sheep Pokemon. I did get that flame plate. I don't know if I want to give it to him, though. Big pearl. Take that. Pearl. Take that. Oh, I also have a charcoal. Might actually be better. You're fine. Oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. A black flu is made from blown glass. Its melody makes wild Pokemon less likely to appear. Interesting. Coco does have another item. Coco has a uh, rock incense. I should get that lax incense. Or the bright powder. I should give either one of those. Uh, get rid of both these max revives. Thanks. Right, so shouldn't I make the rock type better? See, that's all like complicated, like stat stuff, and I don't know if it's better to make the weaker move stronger so that it's on par, or whether I should make the rock type move even more stronger than it is. I think I'm gonna leave it. Uh, I am going to give those accuracy reducing items to some people. We got Extreme Speed, Tail Whip, Ember, and Flame Wheel. Ability kind of sucks, but that's fine. I see your point, but I think I'm going to stick with what I have for right now. Uh, Alright, so that raises the special attack, which go to... Donnie, I think? Donnie? Donnie's... What? I don't want to give it to Coco. better. That's... Have that Kelsey. Alright. We're just gonna do a little team prep real quick. Uh, you can have that. HP up. Uh, let's see. Lock needs to be Um. Make ham even more beef. I'm gonna hang on to that rare candy for in case we redo the team for later. I'm also gonna hang on to those PP ups in case we get better. Um, bright powder. Let's give that. Ooh. Right. We need to get Donnie some special attacks then. Uh, Plock, you don't have any of that. Uh, you, you need that, and uh, this lowers the foe's accuracy. Uh, you can have that. <laughs> Like clay. Flying type. Level hitting holder. That. That's the best I can do for now. As far as items, we didn't really get that many held items this time around, so I don't know what that's all about. Alright, let's go see what Professor Elm has for us. Also, like, what? N EVs? I don't. <laughs> Not that serious. All right, what you got? Taxi. You already collect all eight badges. That's so cool. The professor is waiting for you. Yes, I think that's why. I actually, you never cease to amaze me. Thank you for my, doing my research. This is, I said something and then I forgot what it was. Anyways, take this as a token of my appreciation. Oh, we got a Master Ball and it didn't randomize. That's really cool. Master Ball's the best. It's the ultimate Pokeball to catch any Pokemon without fail. It's only given to noted Pokemon researchers. I think you can make much better use of it than I can, Axie. By the way, we just had a group of beautiful Komodo girls looking. <laughs> Axie, people are talking about you. 
You even helped the Kimono Girls? You've been helping all these people. You make me proud to be your friend. I want you- okay. <laughs> the Kimono Girls are waiting for you at the Ecritique Dance Theater. Okay, <laughs> side note. I watched the Soul Silver, or not, uh, Storm Silver, or what one of the ROM hack versions. Anyways, I watched a YouTuber play it, and to this day, one of the funniest things of like a of a YouTuber improving the dialogue of characters ever was watching him improv Professor Elm's dialogue there. Because he just says, oh, the Kimono Girls came looking for you, and you should go see them at their dance theater. And, um, <laughs> the, the YouTuber, like, rephrased it in the squeaky nerd voice to, all those beautiful Kimono Girls came to get you. Mm, get your dick net. Dick wet. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Back up a second. It totally caught me off guard. I was not expecting it. I was just sitting there at my computer, like, doing my thing, listening to a, listening to a YouTuber play Pokemon. And then that, I just heard that in the nerd voice, and I was like, Hold on. <laughs> So, um, yeah, if you like this game and want to watch somebody be weird about it, I guess that's a thing for you. Yeah, now I have to do the Kimono Girl, uh, do the Kimono Girls battle thing. Oh, and then I can get Lugia, I think, which is great. How? How is it possible? How can I lose to mere Kimono Girls? Watching me, Axie. That's right. I never even defeated five... I never... I never thought defeating five Kimono Girls would be so hard. I got beaten to a pulp. I'm here for the same reason, right? Well, don't get cocky just because you defeated Team Rocket. These Kimono Girls are insanely strong. Go ahead, see if you can beat them. <laughs> but I'm not going back. I don't want to see you win. It's like at this point his personality starts to change. You got me for that, to watch weird playthroughs of Pokemon games? Yeah. Alright, now they should have one Pokemon each, right? Welcome. My name is Zuki. I met you previously in Violet City. I ordered... In order to bring back Lugia, we needed someone with the right bond with Pokémon. We asked Mr. Pokémon to give this mystery egg to whoever showed true potential. Mr. Pokémon to Professor... Uh, something about Professor Pokémon, but I forgot how to speak, and then we gave it to you. However, being pure alone will not be su sufficient to face the power of this Pokémon. I must test you. Are you ready? Let's fucking do it! We're gonna lead with this Pokémon for some reason. I will test how closely you've bonded with your Pokémon. Author Tristan has an ingest. Good thing we led with our Firo. Whoop. Oh, he's got a swords dance. Hold on. Not that serious. We're not doing a Wi Fi battle. Relax. <laughs> Better not fuck me up with that. Right, I don't know which Eevee she had, but it randomized to a Ninjask, so that's fun. Orion, Jolteon, Lace. Orion, Jolteon, Orion, Espeon, Abra, Abra. Sorry. I was thinking that, um. I was thinking that I should have read her dialogue. I didn't. Anyways, I was thinking that I hope none of them have an actual Eevee because that means we're gonna fight a Palkia, and I'm not into that. <laughs> I'm now realizing I shouldn't have blood with Spearmint because I didn't realize you couldn't switch, so. Um, yeah. Uh, Donnie. Come out here with your slightly boosted special attack and no special attacking moves. Thanks for the auto host, Trixel. Oh, look at Junior Aqua Jet. Kabutopsion. This is Alolan. Vaporeon. I don't know which one she has normally. That would have been a good joke if I knew which one she has normally. You are quite the trainer. I remember you chasing off that Team Rocket grunt. Right from here. I must thank you for that. Although I am actually a trainer myself. She who knows the most speaks the least. I am Miki, Mono Girl. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. A different YouTuber I watch does a slightly offensive accent for the Komodo Girls, and, like, it's the only voice I can picture for them. Like, the broken Chinese accent, but, like, 
I don't want to do it because I feel it. For, like, obvious reasons. I just... I don't have a good voice for them. So I'm just gonna keep doing this soft voice that I've been doing because we're almost done talking to them, so... And then we can go get Lugia. You're right. Rock slide! Look at you and your fire fang. Didn't work on me very well. Hope our Lugia is randomized to something amazing. Or somehow it didn't get randomized at all, and then we can just have a Lugia. That'd be great. Excellent fighting spirit. You got me off the ice by pushing me from the back. I am the one who skates in sandals. I am Seo, the kimono girl. I was listening in the dragon's den when you passed the test of the elder. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. Look, he becomes a Weedle. Oh no. No. Author Noel has a Kyogre. Oh. That's fine. Ingest. Okay. Kabuto. All right. I don't know what the last one was, but fuck it. Ow! 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 No! Daddy, no! Oh, I didn't think something in the rain would kill. Oh, fuck. Uh, that's... That's a problem. Um... That's a problem. To be fair, that was a muddy water in the rain from a Kyogre, so... Um... Wiggles, I think, is our best bet, because resist that. And you can maybe take advantage, because... Yeah, he has the thing that makes him use Drizzle. I'm going to switch into Wiggles, because um, then we can take advantage of the rain, at least. What's the, what's the percent chance that waterfall or that water pulse will um anybody know? They in the arms of the angels. The eggs just got promoted. Oh, I'm sorry. I uh Donnie was so good too. I don't want to water pulse it to try to confuse it, but. I'm gonna water pulse it. Oh, it's muddy water. Yeah, muddy muddy water in the rain. Been resisted. It's gonna fucking hurt. No, 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 no! Um. What do we do? Um. <laughs> Help! <laughs> um. <sighs> oh, fuck. Um. You know what I should have done? Fuck. Oh, I'm so stupid. I should have switched into Coco and. <sighs> fuck, I'm so stupid! That was my. Oh, there was no reason that that should have happened. Okay, so Coco can't take a muddy water, but. Um, switching into Coco means that he doesn't have the water, he doesn't have the rain up anymore. And I should have done that in the first place. When Donnie died, I should have switched into Coco, take the rain down, and then switch into something else. So now we have to decide, do we want to stay in with Coco? Can Coco live on muddy water from a Kyogre even if it's not in the rain? And in that case, what should I use? I feel like... Maybe I should Dark Pulse... What do you love doing? Making that fucking face. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, if I Dark Pulse and I outspeed, I have a chance to flinch. Leaving Coco in doesn't feel like a good idea. Uh, Ham is still weak to water, right? Muddy Water's a water-type attack, right? I just realized it could possibly be a ground-type attack, too. I don't know what Ham's gonna do in return, though. It's just the only thing I have that can resist an attack. 
Oh my god, we are in so much trouble. Um... It is definitely water? Okay. Um... Fuck, can I outspeed a Kyogre? Hang on. Uh, who's faster? Donnie? Oh no, wait. Uh, Wiggles is... He... Junior is definitely not gonna out. There's zero chance that he's... Um... I don't think about switching out into Plock. I don't know what Plock can do, but he might take a hit better. Ham's weak to water, right? So I definitely shouldn't go out into ham. Alright, um... My heart is telling me not to stay in with Coco. And my heart is also telling me to switch out to Block. It though. Six and seven. Hundred and health. Uh, on the other hand, your special defense is better. Alright, I'm doing it. Here we go, I'm doing it. Oh, awkward. Great. No, that's not gonna be the worst ever. Alright, next question. Uh, ooh. Yeah, rip block incoming for sure. Uh, what does? Don't have time for that shit. Um, that should do 120 if I take damage. In... So, here we're gonna do revenge. All right, fingers crossed for for Plock. Come on, Plock, eat it. Plock, 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 Plock. Yes. Okay, good job, Plock. You did it. You did it. Oh my god. Oh no, Plock's gonna die. Sandstorm! Wait! Sandstorm, no! <laughs> okay. That was a good start. You are gonna get absolutely fucked in the face by this, though. Alright. That was a good start. Alright, we did a decent chunk of damage to it. Woo! Yes, okay, good job, Plock. Dodged it. Dodged it! <laughs> yes! Ah, oh, Plock did the damn thing. Alright. I'm gonna revenge again. Here's my thought process, right? If the muddy water doesn't kill me, I'll knock it out before the sandstorm kills me. Okay, didn't get a crit. Use that revenge. Take out that Kyogre. Avenge your fallen brethren. Plock has saved the day. <laughs> oh my god. Plock saved our Nuzlocke at the beginning by being a Pokemon that didn't only have Harden. <laughs> and Plock... Saved our Nuzlocke again by defeating a Kyogre single-handedly, single-footedly. Oh my god. Woo! Boom, Plock <laughs> I am the last one. You are so dependable. I called her Hunt title. I don't even fucking care. Come on, just, what are you doing? Let's go. I'm in. What do you got? Please be something easy. Please be like a Rattata. A Rattata would be... No. No, not... No, not this thing again. I can't. Oh, come on. This is the Pokemon we lost the Platinum Nuzlocke to. We lost our last LP to a Walrein. <laughs> so mad. Alright, well, I 100% cannot heal <laughs> the wall. Alright, so I definitely can't stay in with this Pokemon. Um, I need Plock, but Plock is dying. <laughs> Hardcore dying. Do I have to sacrifice Spearmint? Is that what we're thinking? Sacrifice Spearmint? Maybe it'll do some bullshit and not. But it's probably just gonna go for Orbi. Honestly. I don't want to kill Spearmint so good. 
I can't think of anything else we could do, though. I, don't, I, I don't even have any clue what moves it might have. Not, you're not gonna take an ice beat. Open hand will be able to take a hit. Yeah. The thing is, is that I don't know whether it's gonna go for a water type attack. If it goes for a water type, no. You're right. Sorry, Spearmint. Take a hit though. Oh, goes for the only right away. Mint. Probably a My revenge is probably gonna hit me. Gonna body slam me. Fingers crossed. Alright, there we go. Did good. Still did a decent amount of damage, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And, oh, it was a crit. Good job, Plock. Very good. Plock, coming through, saving the day. There will definitely be a lot of off-stream grinding. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got a little fucked in the ass right now. You are not wrong about you. You are indeed worthy of this. Please take it. Whoa. What up, kid? Big sisters! I just saw a big shadow of a Pokemon in the World Island's waters from all the way up here at Ecruteak City that's not even anywhere near the World Island. Could it be? Axie, we will be at the World Islands. See you there. The revenge for Axie thinking of the most racist voice for them? Yeah, really. They were like, how dare you think of that racist voice that that other YouTuber did that you're definitely not gonna do. Oh. We were doing so well, we fucked Claire up. And then the Komodo girls fucked us up in return. So now we have to rebuild the team. So that's fun. Also because I said I wanted to get my dick wet. I didn't say those things. I was quoting someone. <laughs> but I see where you're coming from with that. Alright. That sucked. Uh, at least it's not all... Rest in peace. Child. Baby. Um, I'm gonna leave Spearmint with his Draco. And rest in peace. And you. Thank you for the biddies. Get those pride biddies. I should take that Draco plate. Oh, I want to continue box operations. We need to. We need to select Pokemon. <laughs> Hang on. We're a little fucked right now. All right. So, at the current moment, we're looking at. We got we gotta pick a new team. So we've got a rock dark fighting and an ice ground. Yeah, I'm thinking Palkia probably, cause it's a fucking Palkia. Um and also a dragon type would be great. Of course we have to teach cheat stupid shit, but I have an Empoleon. Well we had to get the Lugia, but I want to grab a team because the last time I went rushing into a uh, the last time I went rushing into a dungeon unprepared, um, we got our asses kicked by a wall rain. So I want to pick a team and then we can swap people out if we want. Yeah, it'd be highly level. I might want to master ball it. That's not a bad idea. Um, all right, so we lost a grass type, a water ground, and a flop. Dale is an HM slave. Which one's Dale? Oh, the Pelipper? Yeah, that's actually not. I'm gonna leave him for now because I want to pick the. Brick a dick! Come here. You can be our. Alright, we need to replace our grass type. Or Shuck Shucky is level 30. FC is level 30. Um, he has an absolutely fucking garbage moveset. But Bug Rock isn't bad. He's super defensive. We had the Roselia for Donnie. You're right. 
Yeah, that's actually got a really good. Let's add. Let's definitely add Roselia to the party. Yeah. Here. All right. So, let's definitely add the Roserade. Roserade for sure. Um, do have the Palkia for Don? Uh, for or like the Blissey's level one, so I'm not feeling the Blissey as much. Yeah, let's. Galileo is level five. <laughs> All right. Um, a good. That's a good solid water type. Uh, my alternative thought to that was that we could grab the Quagsire because that's another water ground. We don't really need any more ground types on the team, and I'd rather uh, not do that. Carl might not be bad. Carl would... Oh, we don't have a way to evolve. Um... Tiny. Yeah, let's actually grab... Let's try, grab Driftblim instead of Pelipper. Um... I was gonna just grab the Pelipper just be just to be an HM slave, but um, I could just teach that fly. Uh, okay, so do we want? Get a psychic type. What glaring missing piece? Oh no, that's everybody. Yeah. Okay, we'll just stick with that then. I don't know where I thought we needed one more. Um. Riarkara is back. We could also teach the Drift Blim uh, Shadow Ball, which would be good. All right, let's go find out what our Lugia is. Actually, let me. All right. Uh, so that's what the squad's looking like right now. Be Thunderbolt, yeah. Uh, other thoughts. Hi, buddy. Uh, would you like to donate that to a worthy cause? Thanks. Alright. Spearmint decided to uh, leave its Draco plate to Galileo and its will. So when it died, that's what's happening. <laughs> you, Smogget, you can have Miracle Seed. Darkra can have... Dark Girl. Dark Brush. Actually, let's evaluate their. <laughs> Might spend the next couple minutes. Team nonsense. Uh, let's see. Riarkra's got. Unburden raises its speed if a held item is used. Get a berry. Minimize, astonish, gust, and focus energy. Actually, let me look up its learn set. Because I had a Drift Blim for a while in one of my games, and I don't remember if it learns a good Ghost-type attack by a level up in any capacity. Uh, it learns Shadow Ball by a level up at level 6. Might not waste the time. Definitely need a uh, other thing I don't remember is physical or special. Definitely special. Special. And definitely special. Do the, let's do the obvious one. Let's do Surf. Surf. Oh, Leo. Why the fuck can Coco learn Surf? <laughs> Oh man, we're gonna need Waterfall, though. <laughs> or Whirlpool, rather. 
All right, I think we're definitely gonna bring the Pelipper. Darkra. Possibly strength. Well, Plock has strength covered, so we're good there. All right, I'm gonna put, we might, I think we're gonna use Palkia, but I'm gonna take him out of the team for now uh, and take the, um, and take the Pelipper with me uh, to use the HM Slaves, because I think he can learn those two, right? Can he, actually, no, can he learn Whirlpool and Waterfall? Ooh, who can learn Waterfall? Not learn Waterfall. Need somebody who can learn Waterfall and Wolf. Would be the better HM slave? Yeah, I hate to do them, but... Can Seal learn Waterfall and Water Pulse? Or Waterfall and Whirlpool? Can somebody look that up for me? Alright, see you later, Flutely. See what happens. I'll try it. Me, uh, maybe OCD for a second, though. See you later, friend. Thanks for, uh, thanks for hanging out and being helpful. Unfortunately, because it's not a bad, not a bad backup option, but all right, Seabork. Now's your time to shine. If ever there was a time for you to shine, it, it was. It is now. And whoa. our adorable little HM slave, Seabork. Yeah, please. Something for Rowl. go find out what our encounter is. Actually, let's heal first, and then we'll go find out what our encounter is. Oh, that hurt. Alright, Rearcro, fly us away. Fly us to victory. I see you in the corner, Glitch Trainer. I watched you. Good. Ah, oh, beautiful. Good glitch. Excellent glitch. So glad. Don't worry about it. We're just- we've arrived in Cyanwood during a nuclear winter. There's no sun. Seabork, take us away. Uh, I'm actually gonna look up a map for this because I do not want to get lost in the World Islands for 15 years. Um, unless somebody knows the most direct way to get where we want to go, but I don't know this well enough. I think I know where we're going.
Oh, Tyranitars, please. Do not fight, sea Tyranitars. Oh, I'm so sad we lost, like, most of our party. <laughs> I might come through the islands later and collect items, but for right now I want to, so we don't have a lot of time left, I want to just go get our Lugia encounter, and then I can have some extra time to train, but... And for a second there, I was worried we weren't going to lose any Pokemon. <laughs> oh. I don't actually know which I am. Just for the purposes of it being interesting. Certainly didn't want to lose any Pokemon, but... I want to keep the Pokemon Flash. I'm heard about repels, too. Uh, we can get- if we were to go that way, I could get two items, but I'm not super interested in that right now. Um... Um, yeah, I I'll get those later, but I want to get the encounter right now, since I have all of you here, and then I can get the other stuff on my own. Can't believe she pulled out a Kyogre in the rain. <laughs> I can't believe a Kyogre in the rain. I mean, I, I know it's a Kyogre and it was in the rain and it was dab, but I still, like, that thing fucked Donnie up. I'm so upset about that. Donnie did not deserve that. That's down here. Luckily, I don't, I don't know if there's any trainers in here, but not. Didn't Max potion. That would have been not as helpful as my brain wants me to think it would be. I don't. I, okay, so I never really understood the point of a of like a max potion because a hyper potion basically does all the things. Not the right room. How do I get to that? Island B. That makes sense. All right. Well, we got some items anyway. Poor Donnie. Poor Wiggles. What a way for our starter to go down. The true hero was spear for taking the death when nobody else could survive a hit. That is true. Three of them. Rest in peace, children. Didn't deserve that. That kimono girl did not have to go that hard. <laughs> She did not have to try as hard as she did. But man, was she ready. Oh my god. Did 
gonna fly. I'm gonna fly. To, I'm gonna fly to Olivine and buy some more spells because I cannot do this game if we're running into Pokemon. I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> It'd be fine if they didn't spawn as often as they do, but it is literally a. All right, give me some repels. I don't got time. Give me some repels. We have so much money from items we keep finding, but I have nothing to spend it on. I mean, I guess I could stock up hardcore on potions, but like, what are we even spending it on? I guess we could buy TMs, maybe? Alright, so I think this island is the one we need to be on. I think B. The first one we went in was C, and then the second one was A. Buy magic. Boy, they made this as convoluted as physically possible. Alright. What's it gonna be? Here we go. Pokeball. I'll have to get that. Tired and typing is hard. Ty typing is hard. Words in general are hard. Sometimes you have to like form whole sentences. It's kind of rough. Hey, all right, we made it downstairs. We got an escape rope, which is great. So get the fuck out of here. Um. Slow person. I think you have. That one. That's the one. Found it. Please, go ahead. Thank you. Another nugget. So many nuggets. A little time. So many nuggets, so little things to spend them on. Still hoping for Weedle. What does everybody hope the Lugia is going to be? It will not affect the outcome. I'm just curious what you what you wish for this for this to be. That's right. Where we welcome Lugia. When the dance we practiced many days becomes one with the sound of the title bell we entrusted with you, then Lugia shall come out of the deep within the waterfall basin once again. I'm ready. My body is ready. Ooh, it won't randomize the character model so we can still see. Here he comes. Here it is. Best Pokemon in the game. Ah, look how cool he is. Oh, he's so cool. Oh, it's not gonna be him, but... Look how fucking cool this Pokemon is. I love Lugia so much. Oh, he's so great. That is indeed Lugia, the guardian of these islands from ancient times. So we have tried it again and again, only to fail. Axie, your heart is in complete harmony with the title bell. Has allowed it to finally appear. Axie, don't you see? Lugia, it must have been waiting for someone like you all this time. Wouldn't you agree? 
I would. I would also agree that I should not put Coco Jr. out front because he will set up the Sandstorm. Sad. I uh, know it's so sad. It's not actually a Lugia. I would use a. I would use the Master Ball on this. So fast. All right, Seabork, get us a little bit closer to this majestic beast. All right. Let's save. Just in case. You never know. Something might go fucky. It could still be a Lugia, technically. Yeah, you're, right. you're right. It could have randomized back to a Lugia. What is that cry? Oh! Okay. I'm fine with that. That's actually a dope-ass Pokemon. Um, we may need to take Roserade off the squadron for that. Not gonna lie. I'm Master Balling the shit out of that, though. I am not interested in fighting a Celebi today. <laughs> Yeah. The last time I fought a Celebi, it fucked up most of my team. So I'm not into that. When Celebi disappears into a forest, it is said to leave behind an egg it brought from the fe- What? <laughs> okay. Alright, which one of you gets to name the onion, onion Fairy? Devil Kitty gets to name the Onion Fairy. Congratulations. Axelbottle made that really easy on me. Axelbottle was like, someone who is here and present in chat. What will you name the Celery Onion Fairy? <laughs> Unborn Pokey Thief, right? They didn't mention that in the movie. <laughs> A Psychic Grass type would be real good for this team. I'm thinking that might need to replace Roserade, even though Roserade's a pretty dope Pokemon. But you can't pass up Psychic Grass. <laughs> oh! Epi! Epi beat me again! My goodness! I like your egg, Mother Pokemon. Would it be a shame if... I like your egg, Pokemon Mother. It would be a shame if it fell into this time portal. <laughs> Did not see that coming. You saw that. Oh, you definitely see it. Siggy? Siggy it is. Siggy. Siggy, the Celebi that's definitely not a Lugia, has been caught. What's going on, Epi? Welcome to the chat. You have caught me right at the end of my stream, though, which is unfortunate. But welcome. Yes, go beans. Where are we going? We just got our Lugia encounter, and it was pretty sweet. Also, not having to level up a Pokemon would be great. Raid loop. You have not only made you have not only made Celebi appear, but you also caught it. You are so wonderful. There is nothing more for us to say. Take good care of yourself in your journey. Cool. Alright, uh, since I'm in here already, though, uh, let's try to find the route out of here that leads us to the most items. Going to be one. There's one item we can get on the way out of here if we walk, so. Luckily, we didn't raid loop this time around. Okay, so that was pretty good, I would say. I get escape rope out of here, but I'm not going. Because there's an item, and I want to know what it is. I think two things are going to happen next time I play a Pokemon game also. Um, I think first, I think I'm going to keep... I didn't think I would like it, but I kind of like the encounters being the way they are right now. So that's fine. Uh, but I think I might randomize the items again. This, this time around, the items have kind of sucked. So I don't think I'm going to shuffle them. I think I am going to just straight up randomize them. How was your How was your stream, Epi? What'd you, what were you guys working on? He will get us out of here. That is the only way out of here. Actually, just... Honest. 
I think about it, it makes sense that it's Celebi. The rest see Elugia due to it using its psychic ability to trick them. Ah, you're right. <laughs> no, that's good. That's the official lore. Official TM. Ooh, Ori of the Blind Forest. That's a great one. Such a good game. Alright, let's check out Siggy. Uh, let's, like, let's check out Siggy. See what Siggy's up to. Uh, add Siggy to the old squadron. I'm gonna take this item off. Ooh, Siggy's holding something. What is Siggy holding? What do you got there, buddy? A wide lens. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. I don't know who we're gonna give that to, but I definitely want to give you the... Take that. Not played that one yet? You should totally... I, I highly recommend that game. I'm gonna just... Sorry, smoke it. But uh, you are not a Celebi, so... Zero and Ultra Moon. Alright, so. The old current squadron is looking like this, which is pretty... We're, we're, I, I think after that nonsense, we stacked ourselves a little bit. <laughs> oh, you know what we should do? Because we haven't done it yet. First of all. Look at the little Drifloon. Drifloon's out here. E, what's Siggy up to? So we're probably not gonna use Siggy. Look how cute he is. Such a cute little onion fairy. And last but not least, the real one I wanted to put out here. I think we did this before, but I just want to know what it looks like. And that's a big boy. Look at him. Oh, he's so... Galileo is wandering around. <laughs> yes, he is. Galileo is absolutely wandering around. His big-ass Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, so I have a lot of training to do since we got a little fucked. Um, doesn't, like, fit under the roof. Alright, so I got some training to do. We gotta get Galileo up. Um, We have to get Galileo leveled up. We gotta pretty much get everybody leveled up for the Elite Four. Uh, and then we'll head on into that, and I gotta decide on moves and stuff, so, um, so there's a couple TMs I could teach my Pokemon, but, like, I think Driftblim learns one of the TMs I have by level up, so I don't want to give it, I don't want to use the TM on it if it's just gonna get the move anyway, um, and we're probably going to level, I'm probably gonna train everybody to level 40 anyway, so, uh, I think, I think Rearchor learns Shadow Ball at level 40, so I won't teach it Shadow Ball because it, it um, I don't have a clue what Galileo learns by level up, so I'll have to look into that and figure that out. Um, uh, Galileo was our Eevee that we got from Bill, so that's fun. <laughs> so we got a couple... We got two babies to, to train up. I will take care of that off-stream, though. Um, the next time we play this will be on Monday. So, Monday the 13th, we will take on the Elite Four. Um... So yeah, uh, that is all. We're gonna call it a night. Uh, and yeah, let's see. Is that's a nice slowdown you got there, game? Thanks. You guys rather don't mind me just walking my god of space? Exactly, that's the one. Um, yeah, so thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Um, I'm gonna raid DM Joey, I think, because I think you guys like stuff. Um, he's just a cool dude. Uh, Ron's just awesome. So, thanks for the blood sport. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. I'm glad we all died. Uh, yeah, so thanks for hanging out. If any of you guys are new here, feel free to follow. I'm working towards a follow goal, so, you know, if you want to help, that's cool. 
Uh, I think most of you who are here already follow me, though. So, uh, but yeah, uh, I will see you guys tomorrow for more art. I got some commissions to work on. We got some line art to catch up on. So uh, I will see you guys then. You guys are all the best. Don't forget that. I will see you later. Let's go toppling to uh, Ron Street. <laughs>